a beautiful day. Thank you, Jesus. The sun is shining. It was cloudy this morning when I first got up, and so I was thinking this was gonna be a kind of dark video, but the sun came out at the perfect time, and now we have a happy sunshine day. So welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Um, it's so good to have you here. Today, we're just doing a what's in my hospital bag video, and also I'm gonna show you guys what I have in little man's bag. I am a first time mom, obviously, so I don't really know for sure what I'm doing, but <laughs> I just, I've I've got helpful people in my life who have given me little tips and pointers here and then a lot of helpful moms on YouTube. I've watched a ton of their videos. So today I'm just gonna show you guys what I've got in my bag and in baby's bag. Um, my husband has also packed a bag, but I'm not gonna show you what's in his bag. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Okay, so this is baby boy's bag. This is actually his diaper bag. So this is what I'll use every day for his diaper bag, but I just decided to go ahead and pack it as a diaper bag so it's ready to go after he's born and we bring him home and everything um, but then I also went ahead and put a couple things in here that he might need while we're there so it's really fancy it has this little flip cover I found it on Amazon I'll try to link it down below um, I was trying to find one that was kind of manly and not super girly so first things first I'll show you the little outfits I have for him and what I'm packing for that I probably completely overpacked but like I said I've never done this before so I think it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it so first of all I've packed two little swaddles in there this is one swaddle and then this is just a zip up swaddle and then i've also got this little swaddle which is velcro um if i can get it apart it just all velcros so and it's got little elephants on it which is so cute so i just have those two swaddles and we'll see which one works best and which one he likes more or if he likes them at all i've got a little receiving blanket i think is what you call these having a baby in the summertime i know he's not really going to need a blanket but i wanted to have something so I've got a little blanket. I don't know how I had all of this in here in the first place because now I can't get it back in. <laughs> I know that they'll have hats there and once again, I'm having a baby in the middle of the summertime, but I'm bringing this little hat. I just thought it was cute. And this little hat, just a little green one. Um, oh, apparently I'm bringing three hats. I have one more. <laughs> There's no way he's gonna use all this, but anyways, we have them. And a little gray hat. And then I've got a little pair of black socks, this little cute pair. And then my mom actually got these socks for me a long time ago. And so I think these are going to be the ones that he wears on the way home or something. They just say wonderfully made. They are so adorable. So I've got those ones and then I've got these little um, mittens for his hands so he doesn't scratch his face or, you know, any of that stuff. And now on to the cutest part. <laughs> little outfits. So once again, I'm sure I won't need nearly as much as what I've packed, but I just wanted to have it. So this is one little outfit. This is newborn size. I feel like on camera it just doesn't do it justice how little and cute it is. But I've got this little onesie to go along with <laughs> this little pair of sweatpants. <laughs> so stinking cute. So that's one little outfit. And then I've got just this little sleeper, just a gray um, plain little sleeper with the little hoodies on the bottom. So I've got that and then I think this is going to be his coming home outfit. It's just this little onesie. It says welcome to the world. Super, super cute and it goes with these little pants with little sheep on the bottom. <laughs> and um, it has like this cover sweater thing but I don't think I'll put this on with it. I don't know. It depends on the temperature and the weather the day that we bring him home. But it comes with this to go over it if we need it and it's got the little built-in um, hand covers so they won't scratch themselves. And then next for it just being a diaper bag, just I know I won't need any of this stuff at the hospital, but just since it, it's gonna be our daily diaper bag, I went ahead and put all this stuff in there. I've got a stack of diapers, wipes obviously. <laughs> I've got baby powder. We've got some cute burp rags. Um, one of our close family friends actually had someone make these for us. 
Um, I've gotten so many sweet homemade burp rags. They're just the best and I'm super excited to use them. So I've got those and I've just got this little kit here, this little bag. Um, it came with some other things in it, but I've already taken them out. So right now there's just some Johnson & Johnson hand and face wipes just in case we need those for something. And I think that's everything in this section, maybe. Oh no, I put um, Desitin in there. And then there's a nice section for bottles, other, other things like that. There's actually a lot of room in this bag. I'm really impressed with it. But for right now, that's what I have in here. So that's what's in his bag. Super crazy and super surreal that you know this bag is gonna be getting used very very soon <laughs> so that's what's in little man's bag and now moving on to my bag um, I just have this huge duffel bag it's actually Zach's <laughs> but I just figured that would be the best thing to put all of my stuff in so um, I guess I'll start with like toiletries and things like that. We just went to the store and bought one of these little travel kits of toothpaste and a toothbrush um, just so that we could go ahead and have it packed and ready to go. I've got a mini body wash and dry shampoo. I didn't end up packing any shampoo and conditioner because I really doubt that I would want to wash my hair in the hospital. Even if I did bring it, I figured I wouldn't even use it. Hopefully I don't regret that decision, but I've just got dry shampoo for that. Um, and then in this little pouch here, I've got a mini deodorant. I have some lavender essential oils, some scrunchies if I want to put my hair up, and a thing of the Earth Mama Organics um, chapstick. So that's my toiletries. And then I've got a sound machine in one pocket because I've heard that's kind of nice to have. Once again, I don't know if I'll end up using that or not, but it's in there. Um, and then I pack some snacks for Zach. Um, just in case <laughs> we're in the middle of labor or whatever and we've been there for a while and he gets hungry or something I know he's not gonna leave me to go get food or anything So just in case he gets hungry, I packed him some of these little mini kind bars if you watched my video a couple weeks ago um, The Sam's run we got those then and then, you know, can't go without Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> so I put those in there for him. And then on to other things inside. So um, I'm bringing some nipple shields just in case I have any issues with that or um, he can't latch or anything like that. Some organic, once again, this is Earth Mama Organics. Um, it's their nipple butter. I have some nursing pads and I have this little um, makeup remover. Um, cloth thing. I don't know. I wasn't a believer in these. I had seen people use them, but I just didn't understand how it worked or that it could work as good as it does, but it really, really works so, so well. I'll try to link these down below too. They, you just, you wash them in your washing machine with your, all your other clothes. And so they're reusable and they just work so well. So I love them. I've got a nursing bra here and a robe. <laughs> it's all folded up. Um, I've heard that a lot of women just enjoy being in their undies in their robe. <laughs> um, right after all of that, you don't really feel like being in anything else, so I got a robe just in case. Um, I have some of these Freedom Mom ice packs. I really doubt I'll need these. I'm sure the hospital will probably provide that for me, but I just went ahead and packed two of them just in case. I have some extras, so I figured why not? Got a pair of fuzzy socks <laughs> in case my feet get cold. Um, I have a couple pairs of undies in there. Once again, I probably won't need those. I'll probably just wear the disposable ones <laughs> um, that the hospital provides, but I went ahead and packed them anyways. I have one of Zach's oversized t-shirts because I know after he's born, I'm not going to want to wear <laughs> super tight clothes probably because I know I'm still gonna have a bit of a pooch which is totally fine um, but I'm just not you know I'm not gonna want to wear anything super form-fitting I don't think so I just have a baggy shirt um, and then I have this pajama set um, it's these silky shorts super super comfy um, and then this matching top um, this should be pretty easy for me to lift up and be able to nurse and everything while wearing it. And once again, it is soft and cozy and comfy. So I figured I would bring that. I just have a bunch of lounge clothes, really. I have this little sweater. 
um, these pajama pants, just baggy, comfy um, pajama pants. I think I got these from Target a long time ago. I don't even know if they still have them there. I have some green <laughs> Zaya joggers. Um, these are just super, super comfortable. So if I want to wear those around the hospital or wear them on the trip home, whatever. I've got those. And then I've got two t-shirts. I've just got a plain little blue t-shirt here. And then I'll probably wear this shirt home. Um, it's just a mama shirt and it's a maternity shirt. So it'll be nice and loose fitting and not super, <laughs> not super tight. Um, and then I just got a pair of soft leggings. And then I have a pair of Zaya leggings. These are more like activewear leggings and so they'll be a little bit compressive. And I figured, or I've heard a lot of women say that a little bit of compression with your pants and stuff is kind of nice. And these are a little bit high-waisted and I've heard it just kind of helps kind of pull you in um, and feel like you're not losing everything. <laughs> so that's what I have in there. <laughs> So that's my bag. That's what I've got going in there. And then I'm also bringing, I'm also bringing a nursing pillow because I've heard it's also nice to have one of those. And this was given to me and it was already in that little carrier bag. So I figured I would just bring that one. And then we have a list of things on our refrigerator um, of like last minute grab items. So, you know, like phone chargers or pillows, blankets, stuff like that. Just like last minute things that we can't or we don't want to pack right now in the bags. I've got a list ready to go of things to just um, look at that list and grab on the way out the door. So I think that's everything. I cannot believe that it's already time to do this. <laughs> Um, I'm super super excited and I just can't wait to meet him and just you know move on to the next chapter here So I hope this was helpful for you guys um, Or encouraging or exciting or whatever um, If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out so much and Stay tuned because I'm sure that there will be more baby things coming soon And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was an encouragement or helpful to you. Always remember you are fully loved and fully known. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.